Hey guys, uh, you'll have to excuse the redness of my face when I go outside in the sun. I get all blotchy and, and all gross. But anyway, right now I am printing on my, um, it's an Epson Artisan 1430. Um, I bought it uh, specifically to use for, why won't you print? To use for printing my prints and all that stuff. So what I'm doing today is I'm trying to create t-shirts. So I bought some trans transfer paper from, I just got it at Walmart, um, and I got some t-shirts at Walmart as well that I can use, and I'm trying to transfer the fairy I did with the roses onto the shirt. So if I can make it work, like I think I was saying before in one of my other videos that I'm trying to make it work so that I can make t-shirts and I can have other things for, um, Oh, there it goes. So I can have other things at my table at the expos and everything that I'm going to um, this year. September, October, November, and December are the four busiest months of the year for me. So I need to get my butt in gear and get paintings ready and get prints ready and whatever else that I can think of to make to be able to offer um, for the table. And I'll be vlogging through those as well if you're interested to see what that's like. But just printed a proof here and uh, this is not what I'm going to be putting on the t-shirt I just wanted to make sure that the size and everything was okay so what I'm going to do now is actually put in one of the pieces that I need watch out puppies one of the pieces that I need um, transparency sheet for come on pups get out of the way oh you got water all over my seat um, I just need one of the pieces of paper that I'm going to use to put the transparency on with. So I'm just going to stick it in the printer like so. Hopefully it works. Um, and before I actually sell the t-shirts or anything, before I actually go ahead and sell them, I'm going to put them through a rigorous <laughs> wear and wash for the week. So I'm making a t-shirt for myself and a t-shirt for um, the kid of the house. And um, yes, I did say before that we have a girl. You've seen the back side of her, like the back, her back of her head, and one of the other um, videos. But yeah. So let's see what happens here. I'm going to shove off and try to get this done. And when I get the final product finished, I'll show it to you. And then uh, maybe you can leave a comment. Let me know what you think. So I got the t-shirt done, and this is, whoops, there goes my camera. That's not a good idea. Let's put it over here. This is what it looks like. I've got the iron still plugged in. And I've got two black t-shirts there that I can do as well. But this is what it looks like. So I think she's going to be quite happy with this, well, hopefully anyway. But yeah, it was, um, it was fairly easy. Um, a lot easier than what I thought. So now all we have to do is um, put it to the test and see how it holds up with being worn and bent and put in the dryer. And um, it seems to crinkle okay. Like it's not, it's not really bending or anything. So that's that's good. It's a little bit close there, but yeah, I'm hoping. Hoping it'll be all good and it's not going to fall off and everything. So, yeah, that's what I just did. It only took me about 10 minutes. Well, it took me longer to cut out the actual picture than it did to actually put it on the t-shirt. So, I'm quite happy with it. So, um, I have this that I'm working on. This is my new Medusa piece. So, once I get this done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, after I get it painted, I'm going to digitally, digitally remove this piece right here and this snake right here. And then I'm going to be able to put this on a t-shirt as well. So that is my plan. So if I can get it to work, this one will be going on a t-shirt for myself. And um, if I can get a t-shirt that actually fits me, um, I might do this one as well. Or I even might go get a tank top or something from Walmart. Something that I can pay six bucks for on Friday. And do one of these for myself as well. So yeah, not too shabby if I do say so. I am not used to using this. I don't iron. I don't use a flat iron whatsoever. Um, so I was surprised I didn't burn myself, but I'm all good. And, uh, let me know down in the comments what you think. Hey guys, it's the next day now. And, uh, this is what I'm doing. 
we can't seem to get any privacy outside. Um, so I'm taking matters into my own hands and we have two plastic rugs for outside and uh, we don't have a privacy fence back here so I figured at least um, we can give the neighbors a little bit of privacy and give ourselves a little bit of privacy as well and uh, put this up. We don't have a top yet, I gotta get a top on Friday. But at least if I want to come outside and do some art, I can for now. And then, um, you know, it gives some privacy for next door. But that's what I'm working on. This was a... I don't want to swear on here, but you can get what I'm trying to say. It was a you-know-what to put up. But I'm going to get this other piece over here strung up. And uh, Jeremy's kind of on the fence about it. He's not really... Uh, I don't think he really likes the idea. But I want some privacy. And this is what I have to do. Um, at least then I can possibly find some way to hook something into the deck somewhere so I can um, bring the dogs out so they don't rush over towards the fence and that's the plan so I'm just doing some reorganizing outside and at least I'm outside for a little while anyway so I'm gonna go finish putting this thing up and yeah on Friday I'm gonna go and get a top for this hopefully Walmart's supposed to have them because this is where we bought it so hopefully um, for 30 bucks we can get the top part and we're not gonna bother with the screen around the outside because we had it before and it just collected bugs on the inside but 25 degrees out already this morning and it is getting toasty So that's what it looks like on the outside, or uh, well, towards the inside anyway. Um, like I said, make do with what we have. We don't want to spend more money on another gazebo this year. Because um, like I said, we're saving our money to go to Newfoundland. But to buy a $30 top for the gazebo is not bad. But for us to go and buy a whole new gazebo, it's probably 200 bucks. So we're just going to deal with this for the summer. I mean, I went on Pinterest and I found a whole bunch of other things like people did like this with different kinds of outdoor blinds and rugs and whatnot. And it would have looked nice if we had like black curtains or something around it or uh, like something that you couldn't see through. But again, I don't want to go spend money and we had these two things just laying around the house from when I had my art studio. So I figured, hey, why not? I know that side over there is a little bit high, so I might want to get that lowered later. But when we, it, it'll probably have to get fixed again anyway when we put the top on, but that's what we have for now. So I'm going to go and uh, head inside for a bit because I'm probably getting sunburnt. Hey everybody, haven't been around much these past couple days. Um, I've been busy and I've been stressed out about a lot of things and haven't really had anything um, exciting or positive to vlog about until today. Um, yesterday I sat down and I did this. It's not done yet. This is going to be my video for Wednesday next week, maybe. Thinking about it, I'm trying to get ahead of myself here by um, doing some art videos um, ahead of time. And um, I've been using my Copic. This whole thing was created with uh, my Copic markers and um, what else did I use? Some distress inks and all that stuff. So I'm trying to do some more mixed media stuff in my journal because people seem to really like the, the journal pages and, and whatnot. And so I just um, made myself some breakfast, so I'm having eggs and um, some turkey bacon, and I'm trying to eat healthier, so I think, and I have some, a half a glass of milk here, so I think that's a little bit of a healthier choice. And I don't remember if I showed this, but this is where this piece is at right now. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, so I'm going to... Um, I have a few things to chat about later, but I want to eat, catch up on some vlogs, and um, I'll be back later. Bye for now. You're so mean. <laughs> <laughs>